Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z, I have an unusual assignment for you. You are to accompany a certain high-ranking official on a secret mission to the Far East. Adjoining cabins have been reserved aboard the Empress of the East. A separate stateroom has been provided for Miss Norwood. The diplomat will travel under the name of John Mason. You sail tonight. Your sole duty is to see that the official arrives safely. Here are the tickets. Report to me by ship-to-shore telephone if anything unusual occurs. and Pat watched as passengers boarded the great liner that was to carry them to the Orient. They stood on the freight deck and watched from the shadows through a cargo door so they couldn't be seen. Sailing time approached. They'd seen nothing suspicious. Everyone's aboard, Z. I haven't seen anyone who looks suspicious. Certainly no one was on our wanted list. Oh, that's true, Pat. But don't forget, the photographs of wanted spies in our files contain few Orientals. You expect an Oriental? Z, yes? what is this all about? Who is the man traveling under the name of John Mason? Uh, I didn't ask questions, Pat. You, you mean you don't know? I haven't met him yet. I suspect that he's traveling east in connection with the lending of a large sum of money to a certain government. However, that's none of our business, Pat. To us, he's John Mason. Our only duty is to see that he arrives safely. They're pulling in the gangplank. Yes, it's time for us to go to our cabins. I want to meet the man I'm traveling with. Well, Pat, here's where we separate. What do you mean, Z? For the time being, we're to be strangers. We won't be seen together aboard ship. I'll send my instructions to you. Keep your eyes open. But, Z, we watched everyone come aboard. We won't have any trouble. I'm not so sure, Pat. Now, let's go to our cabins. As the great ship left the harbor, the passengers prepared for their long trip. On deck, a small man called for a deck chair. Oh, steward, uh, bring me a deck chair. Place it here by the companionway. At once, Excellency. Is he uh, aboard? Yes, Excellency. Cabins 14 and 15. A deck. Good. Thank you. 
Excellency, there are two who travel with him. A man occupies cabin 14. There is also a girl. She is in A deck 21. You are sure? Yes. They watch the passengers board from the cargo deck. Then uh, they will be taken care of. <clears throat> that is all, Stuart. Uh, thank you. That evening, Agent Z and the man he guarded, John Mason, dined alone in the latter's cabin. As the man who served them cleared the table and left them to bring the coffee, Agent Z spoke. Mr. Mason, while we're alone, there are several requests I want to make. I am in your hands, Agent Z. Well, for the first few days, I don't want you to go on deck alone. It has been arranged for the captain to introduce you to Miss Norwood this evening. She and I will never be seen together... But you are to be with one or the other of us whenever you are out of your cabin. If Miss Norwood is the young lady in 21, being with her will be a pleasant experience. But isn't it usually the man who protects the lady? Miss Norwood is as efficient as she is decorative, Mr. Mason. Ah, here's our coffee. Will that be all, gentlemen? Yes, you may go now. Thank you. I don't like the way that fellow looks at me. Oh, this coffee's bitter. I don't like it. Yeah, it feels a little strong. I can't drink that stuff. I'll have tea later. I say, what are you doing over there at the drain? Oh, nothing. Our waiter failed to leave finger bowls. Oh, I'm sleepy. Must be the sea air. I'm a bit tired myself. Oh, odd. So early. Perhaps it would do us both good if we slept for an hour or so before we go on deck. Good idea. I was about to suggest it. Well, I'm going to my cabin. Oh. I'll see you in an hour or so. Call me before you dress for the evening. Yes, I will. Drug has worked. They both sleep. Good. You will stand guard here in the passageway. If anyone comes this way, knock on the door uh, as if you had been called. dressed, mingled with the other passengers in the main saloon. At his request, he was presented to Miss Norwood by the captain. The two talked at a quiet table. You travel alone, Miss Norwood? Yes, I'm all alone this trip. I'm to meet my father in Shanghai. He's been traveling in the South Sea. So, well, I hope you will do me the honor of talking to me often. You travel for pleasure, Mr. Matsumo? Yes, uh, I have been in England and on the continent for several months. However, there is a little pleasure in being alone on such a long voyage as this. I'm glad to find my fellow passengers uh, so charming. <laughs> I, uh, oh, pardon me, I believe my steward is looking for me. I expect a message. Uh, over here, steward. Your pardon, Miss Norwood. Of course. Excellency. There is someone in your cabin. I saw them enter. Who is it? I don't know. I only saw their back. Go below at once. Wait for me. I'll come down immediately. The Oriental made his apologies to Pat and went below. A moment later, Pat followed him. Below, he let himself into his cabin. Have your gun ready when I open the door. There's no one here. Wait. All right. Wait for me outside. But, Excellency, I'm sure I saw someone enter. He left. 
when you came on deck to warn me. Close the door and wait. I must see if the papers are safe. Don't attempt to move, Matsumo. What are you doing here? I think you know. Mr. Mason drank some of your drugged coffee. I poured mine down the drain. I saw you steal the papers and bring them here. I knew that if I hid behind your shower curtain, you'd show me where you had them. I'll take them. Do I? It'll do no good to call for help from your steward. Unless I'm mistaken, Miss Norwood already has placed him under arrest outside. Oh, well, Pat. I have the steward, please. Good, Pat. Matsumo, this ship is under the British flag. I have the authority to place you under arrest as a spy. Lee, Lee, he swallowed something. Quick, the telephone, Pat. Send for the ship's surgeon. Yes. That will not be necessary. The drug I took is powerful. Yeah. In my country, an officer who has failed his superior prefers death. Tension grows in the East. The spies of many great powers are matching wits. Another account of Agent Z's activities in the East will be heard soon. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking. (laughs) 